Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And with the whole Microsoft buyout of Activision Blizzard, everyone's got their two cents on it from PlayStation to the FTC. And now the UK regulatory says that public response to Xbox's Activision deal were mostly in supportive of the merger and around 75% of responses reviewed were broadly in favor in of the proposed acquisition. Now, I can't say I'm surprised. I, I think a lot of uh, developers and companies are all for this because it's going to make their jobs quite a bit more easier and they're going to have a lot more money to throw around so yeah the uk's competition and markets authority has released a summary of the responses it received after inviting members of the public to share their views on microsoft's proposed acquisition of activision blizzard so in october the cma published an issue statement which laid out the main areas it's likely consider in reaching a decision whether the 69 billion dollar deal would result in substantial lessening of competition it also invited members of the public to respond to the issue statement over the two-week period. So, of the 2,100 emails that were reviewed, around three-quarters were broadly in favor of the merger, and around a quarter were broadly against the merger, the CMA said in a summary of the response published on Wednesday. No clear view was expressed for or against the merger by a small number of respondents. So the CMA listed 14 views expressed in favor of the merger, and 11 were against it. Some who argued in favor of the deal said it would allow Microsoft to better compete with Sony and Nintendo, who are bigger players in the games industry. Others said that the merger would not harm rivals because Microsoft has committed to keeping Activision content like Call of Duty and non-console exclusive. It is also argued that Microsoft plans to add Call of Duty to Xbox Game Pass are pro-competitive and will lower the prices of accessing games for consumers. Now, I'm not too sure about that. So on the flip side, some who opposed the deal said they want Microsoft to become as dominant in the gaming space as it already is in PC operating systems. Others claim that the deal would pave the way for future acquisitions of other leading publishers like Take-Two, EA, and Ubisoft. I would not be surprised if that's on the cards, actually. And some said the deal would incentivize Microsoft to make Call of Duty exclusive to Xbox like it has with some Bethesda games following its acquisition of ZeniMax Media and to lower the quality of Call of Duty titles on PlayStation. Now, like I've said before, I don't think that's ever going to happen because then you're going to miss out on all the uh, cosmetics and DLC sales and Battle Pass and whatever on PlayStation. And we know that PlayStation has a bigger Call of Duty player base, so I think they'd be losing a lot of money by doing that. So in September, the CMA said that its inquiry into the merger had officially been expanded into the second phase due to another of antitrust concerns. Notably, the watchdog is worried about the impact the deal could have on PlayStation's ability to compete given that the deal would see Microsoft gain ownership of the Call of Duty series. So this whole thing's just absolutely crazy, but now seeing that around 75% of uh, responses to Activision's deal were positive from this regulatory, I think um, a lot of people are in favor of this, but of course with FTC involved, only time will tell how this is all going to play out. But you let me know how you're feeling about this in the comment section down below, and be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com, and I'll see you all in the next video.